There are additional ethics topics that we need to address, including computers in the workplace. As the workplace has changed throughout the years, more and more computers and computer software and computer functionality has been introduced. As computers have been introduced more and more, the workplace has changed. Workplace changes have direct impacts on the workforce itself. Some jobs have been made easier. Some jobs have required retraining, and some jobs have actually been done away with because of computers. For users that are using computers more and more, it's important to understand the health issues, things such as carpal tunnel syndrome, first started with the introduction of computers in the workplace. So many, many issues have to be addressed with basically how computers affect your workforce. Computer crime is another area where computers are both used in the commission of crimes and computers are the targets of crimes. Many topics, once again, you need to be aware of what's going on, what's being discussed, and what types of computer crime need to be addressed in your security policy. What about privacy and anonymity? Specifically with respect to your organization, is information on computers in your organization considered private? Personal information, that is. Is it private or not? What does your policy say about it? Are the activities of your workers anonymous activities or not? Is it okay, for example, for your users, for your workers, to go online to social networking sites? That may be a prohibited behavior, or you may allow the behavior, but note that anything that you do on these sites would be fair game and is not anonymous at all. Another important issue is intellectual property. As it's becoming very easy to copy and paste both text information and download binary files, whether they're images or movies or, or music files or other types of audio files, the intellectual property issues are becoming more and more uh, of an interesting uh, debate, but also a very passionate debate. You'll find people on both sides of the argument, both pro and against intellectual property. It's important that you address it in your policy. And lastly is that of professional responsibility. In many areas there are ethics questions that are not black and white but a little bit of gray mixed in between because there may not be one specific rule or one specific law that governs an activity. So the question is as a professional what should you do? For example, what if there is a file transfer in question going from one country to another? The laws of one country state that that transfer is, is, is legal, whereas the laws of another country or state would dictate that that transfer would not be legal. You have the question of not just trying to split hairs as to what jurisdiction you fall under, but be professional. What is your overall responsibility to the community at large?